Hi everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos on matrices. Now, we're going to answer the question, do two given lines intersect? We can do it using matrices, and it's a nice idea to link some geometry and linear systems and matrices. So we'll discuss a basic example. I'll step you through it. And uh, let me share my screen with you so we can get down to business. All right, so we're given two lines, two equations for two lines. Do the two lines intersect? Okay, so these are lines sitting in three-dimensional space. We've got the a parametric vector form of both of the lines and the, the, the parameters are mu in the first line and uh, sorry, lambda in the first line and mu in the second line. So what they're really asking us is, are there values of lambda and mu such that these two equations are equal? That's really what, what, what they're asking us. So are there values of lambda and mu such that these two equations are equal? If we can find values of lambda and mu such that this holds, then they do cut, well, they do cross each other. If there are no values of lambda and mu, then the two lines do not intersect. So here we've got a classic vector equation. What we're going to do is write this as an augmented matrix. And the way uh, I'm going to do it is through rearranging this. So we've got all the lambdas and the mu's on one side and the constant vectors on the other side. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to take this vector to this side and this to the other side. So let's just consider that. So if I take this to the other side, I'll get 1, negative 1 plus 1. Oh, sorry, negative 1 minus 1 and I'll get 5 minus 3 on there. And over the other side, I'll get the following. Now I'm going to write a plus mu here and change the signs inside the, uh, the vector. So I'll get 1, 0, oh sorry, no, no, negative 2. and two. Okay, all right, so now we can do something with that. All right, so we can transform this into augmented matrix form. So let's consider the following augmented. So B is this vector here, A is just this, and this written as columns. Great, okay. So now we're at a familiar part in this, this series of videos. We can row reduce that, we can put it into a row echelon form and then make something, make some conclusions about the original question. So let's do some row operations and reduce it to a row echelon form. Okay, so the first thing we do of course is we choose a pivot entry. Now, with this one, we've got a number one at the top left-hand corner. You can't do better than that. So that's what we'll choose. And we want to make everything underneath that pivot entry equal to zero. So let's make that and that zero by doing some row operations. We would do row two equals row two minus two times row one. And row three equals row three plus five row one. So let's write those down and we'll perform the operations. So row two equals row two minus two row one. Row three equals row three plus five row one. Okay, so what's that going to come up with then? I'm going to get two minus two, zero. 
1 minus 2, negative 1, negative 2 minus 2, negative 4. I'm going to get a negative 5 plus 5 times 1, 0. Negative 6 plus 5, that'll be negative 1. 2 plus 5, which will give you 7. Okay, so we're almost finished now. What we do is you choose a submatrix and then you row reduce the submatrix. Okay, now some of you will jump ahead here and know what the you know, what's going to happen, but let's just do that. Now, I don't need to make that, oh, I could make it a one, but let's just, I mean, these are the same thing. So basically I don't have to make that a positive one. What I can do is just uh, add row two to, uh, sorry, take away row two from row three. So, so row three equals row three minus row two. Um, so it's going to be zero. So I'm going to get seven minus negative four, which is 11. Okay. All right. So now we can see, uh-oh, basically this bottom row says zero lambda plus zero mu equals 11. So it can't have that happening. Another way of saying is the, the right, very right-hand column is leading. Okay, hence no solution. And if you want to do C, uh, row three, zero mu, uh, lambda plus zero mu equals 11, what? All right, so, so there's no solution. So what's our conclusion? Do the two lines intersect? They absolutely do not. So our conclusion thus, our two lines don't intersect. Okay? All right. So there's an example of how you can connect matrices with geometry and, and linear systems. Anyway, I think it's an interesting example. What do you think? If you have any comments, any questions, put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. Bye.